it's June already! The sun is out and I'm happy, happy, happy. Let's hope the weather stays this good. So anyway, as it's June, it's time for me to show you my top five favourite products that I have been really loving the past month of May. So let's get started. So the first product that I've really been loving this month, I already showed you in my Spring Essentials because it really has been essential for me now in the spring and it's the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Youth Boosting Perfect Skin Foundation. Long name. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, as the name says, this is a light foundation but it does have enough coverage to give you perfect skin, as the, as the name says. And uh, I like it because the finish is very beautiful, it's very natural and it does really look like your skin. Um, and um, I've just been enjoying it a lot and a very good um, thing to tell you is that I put it on this morning and I've been wearing it the whole day and as you can see it's still there so that's quite good. It's got um, an okay lasting power in my opinion. And um, this is a little bit too light for me now for the summer. This is in shade number one, fair. So they do go very, very light. Uh, so I could probably do with number two or perhaps even maybe number three, especially in the summer. Um, it's lovely to wear, lovely to apply, and it sits very comfortably on the skin. So I've been loving this. My second favorite is going to be an essential that is not really overly exciting, but it is really important, especially when you don't have a very good skin day. And it's the MAC uh, Studio Finish Concealer. And um, I don't know why, I already mentioned in another video that I've been having a few breakouts. I don't know if you can still see, I've got one or two. And um, it, this has been a real essential now. Uh, I think it's due to my cleanser that it's not uh, heavy duty enough. Um, but nevertheless, I have been having a few uh, breakouts. So I like to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer because it's um, a bit thicker and it lasts a little bit longer on the skin. I think that the concealers that are for under the eye area, they have to be a little bit creamier and a little bit lighter, whereas the ones that are for your marks or spots or whatever, or acne, have to be a little bit thicker. And this one is pretty good. I've got this in the shade NW20, and I usually apply it with my fingers or I can use a small brush, which is usually better because it, you conceal it uh, a little bit more precisely. And then I usually set it with a little bit of powder because I let it last a little bit longer. My next favourite is by MAC and it's from one of their latest collections and it's from their Alluring Aquatics collection. And this is one of their extra dimension eyeshadows and it's in the shade Fathoms Deep. And I just have to include this because it's an absolutely gorgeous product. The packaging is amazing and I'm not the sort who loves packaging in general. And uh, I've used this quite a lot already. I mean, it's got a design on it and it's already fading. So imagine how much I've used it in just this month. So love the formula. Um, I wore it one day and I went into Sephora and three of the girls working in Sephora asked me, what eyeshadows I was wearing. I said, no, it's only one eyeshadow and it's actually by MAC, which they look a little bit miffed about because they don't sell MAC. So, uh, so it's a good sign when uh, other people who sell makeup are asking you what you're wearing. So yeah, love, love this, uh, this extra dimension eyeshadow. If you can still pick one of them up, do have a look at them because I think they're really, really beautiful for all year round. Maybe not only for summer because they're actually quite dark colours, but gorgeous for all year round. And now onto my favourite lip product for this month and I'm wearing it today on my lips and you've already seen it in another, at least another video and it's uh, one of the Bourjois uh, Rouge Velvet uh, liquid lipsticks. This is amazing. I mean absolutely amazing. I have uh, one of the Hourglass um, liquid, uh, I don't know what they're called right now actually, but I've got one of the Hourglass liquid uh, uh, lipsticks and I've only worn it once, the Opaque Rouge they're called, that's it, the Opaque Rouge, and I've only really worn it twice because they sort of like crack and they get really flaky. So when I got this, I thought it would be basically the same thing, but this has really, really shocked me. It's so, so good. It really feels velvety on the lips. You do feel that it's velvety and it just stays all day and matte. And it's, I mean, I put this on first thing in the morning and this is literally at least 10 hours later and I still got it. So I've eaten with it, I've had tea twice with it. Absolutely amazing. This one is in the shade uh, Pink Pong. It's the only one I've got at the moment. I have almost bought another one at least four times and I'm sure that in the end, in the end I will be buying it because they're really good. <laughs> so yes, buy these. 
And my last favourite, I'm afraid, is also from the MAC Elrune Aquatics collection, and it's one of the nail varnishes. And I just had to include this. I wasn't going to include the two products from the same collection, from the MAC collection, but I've just been using them so much and really, really loving them. And this one is one of their nail polishes, and it's uh, in the shade Submerged. And first of all, just take a look at the colour. It's absolutely amazing 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 color it's got sort of like this um duochrome effect so it's a like green blue purple depending on how you look at it and it's amazing and i'm really i'm really really sorry i'm not wearing it today on my nails but i've got a wedding um next weekend and i wanted to not wear any nail varnish to have my nails in tip-top condition for when I do my nails before the wedding. So I'm not actually wearing it at the moment. I'm actually wearing it on my toenails and I actually have to take it off because I've just had it for about three weeks on my toenails and it just won't budge. So really, really impressed with the formula. I never thought I'd get a MAC nail polish. This was actually given to me by my mum and I'm really happy she bought it for me because it's beautiful. Uh, and I just had never thought that they were any good. I never heard that they were astounding. and. Um, they are quite pricey, so I had never picked one up before, but this one is amazing. Really, really good, really, really long-lasting, love the colour. So I do suggest you take a look at the three colours, because the other two I also saw that they were nice shades, but this one is really, really special. So those have been my five favourites for the month of May. They're the five products that I have really, really been loving and enjoying, and I really suggest you take a look at them. Especially the ones from the MAC collection, if you can take a look. Um, if they're still on sale anywhere because they, it's just such a beautiful collection and they really uh, did a good job this time. So uh, thank you ever so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel because it really makes me very happy when you subscribe and like that you won't miss my next videos. I always have new videos every Monday and every Thursday unless something happens but I haven't missed a single video yet. <laughs> so anyway, thank you ever so much and see you in my next video. Bye!